In yoga, it's so important to get on the floor, to do seated poses, to do supine poses. But of course, if we get on the floor, we have to get off the floor. And for many of us, that's a little challenging. In this practice, we'll do some actions to open the hips, to prepare you for sitting down, and we'll practice two ways to get on the floor and off the floor. Grab a chair, make sure it's got a nice uncushioned surface for you. We'll begin seated. In your chair, sit forward on the chair seat and draw your right knee in. Just give it a big hug and see if you can take it in even more. Just really draw it in. And pass the foot just to the outside of the left knee. Now for some of us, the knee is not coming down. So maybe if you lean back, it comes down a little bit more. If you can, be on the forward part of your chair seat to do this, and it takes practice. It takes doing this repeated times. So engage the lifted leg. The spread toes is one way to engage this leg. Another way to go a little bit deeper is to put just a little bit of pressure, not on the knee, but right by the hip crease. Press down and see if you can just draw your heart forward just slightly. Now for some of us, this is a little intense, so Again, it takes a lot of repetition. Just keep a nice ease to your breath as maybe you can go a little bit further. Try not to round your back. Keep the heads of your arm bones drawing back. The shoulder blades on the back are hugging in toward each other. Now release your hands and just allow a little bit more weight to come forward. Keep your left foot very active. Let your breath, especially your exhale breath, take you a little bit deeper. Now inhale and lift yourself up. Release your right foot down. Just pause here for a moment. Sit tall and sit slightly forward on your sits bones. Hug your left knee in. Give it a big hug. Draw in. Now see if you can go a little bit deeper. Pull it in a little bit more. Cross your left ankle to the outside of the right knee so that ankle bone is not seated at the knee. And again, for some of us, you might have to lean back at first, but if you can get away from the chair back, come forward on your sits bones, maybe even apply just a little bit of pressure right at the hip joint. You can draw the thigh slightly down. Get your foot very active. Draw your toes toward your shin bones. So it's really working the ankle as well. Maybe you can draw it down slightly and take your attention to your breath. This pose is a wonderful pose to prepare you for seated positions. One of the most common seated positions that we do is a cross-legged seated position. And this is a great preparation for that. You can free your arms and release even more as you come into this forward fold. And as you're ready, you can 
lift yourself out of the pose. Now, after doing that several repetitions and practicing regularly, it's time to practice getting on the floor. You might want to use a wall or use your chair to help first give you confidence as you come down to the floor and lift yourself up from the floor. And once you have confidence and more strength in your legs, more flexibility in your hips, come to a wide stance. As you come to a wide stance, bend your knees slightly, pivot your right foot. So now you're in a lunge position. With your hands right to your knees, see if you can bring your back knee down to the mat, your hands to the mat, move your right foot so that you come all the way down to sit and to get up you create the lunge again move your foot to create a lunge tuck your toes under place your hands to support a lifting quality and you come back to standing position Let's try that on the other side. Bend your knees slightly, pivot your left foot, bring your right knee slowly down to the mat, place your hands to the mat, move your foot so now you can take your pelvis to the mat. Once you're on the mat to continue this hip work, in a pose that we do so frequently in yoga, Sukhasana, cross-legged pose. But if that way of coming down did not work for your knees, another way to do it is by coming into downward facing dog and doing what we call an inchworm. You can step wide in a standing position, bend your knees, Place your hands down to the mat or down to your floor. Bend one knee, take it all the way to the floor and sit your pelvis down. And once again, find yourself in Sukhasana or whatever seated pose works for you. If your knees are so high, it's best to get a little elevation for your pelvis. I like using blocks for that elevation. You can use books or you can use a blanket. So sitting on a little elevation allows your knees to draw down. When you're first in this pose, walk your feet slightly away from your hips so that you get a little bit more freedom. And from there, you can do so many yoga poses. You're now on the floor safely. You can do seated poses and supine poses and feel the freedom of getting on and off the floor. Thanks for joining me in this exploration of how to get on the floor and up from the floor with ease so that you can expand your yoga practice. Namaste.